People like to use Microsoft Teams because everything is now in one place. It's really easy to use and it's exactly the same whether on your mobile or your web browser or your laptop or your iPad, it's all exactly the same. And it's also part of that familiar Office 365 ecosystem that you already use every day. Some of the really standout features with Teams is some of the meetings and audio conferencing. So often today people have to dial in using numbers and pins and with Teams it has two really strong features. Either if you log in just using the app it's in one button or if you walk into a meeting room and you have a Teams device you press one button and you join the meeting. You can integrate your document creation from within Teams, you can bring in your DocuSigns, you can bring in your other applications, you can bring in your favourite web pages, your to-do lists, a whole manner of things that mean you just have one pane of glass to look at in the morning. Getting started with Teams can be really easy, but it does require the relevant planning. We often see people jumping in with two feet, not quite thinking through the steps, and actually forming something like a pilot group together and playing with the different features and working out the relevance to your business is really important to the success of a project.